Well, initially, the best published account, as the competition was then known, was part of a larger exercise aimed at providing more thought leadership in the Mauritian business world. And uh, Robert Bigayon was quite a visionary man who thought that we were moving into a more sophisticated business world and that we needed to move Mauritius forward in that area. So we put together a number of initiatives, Robert, Jean-Paul and myself, initiatives like uh, uh, Budget Lunch, Business Magazine, the Young Investor Award, and the best published accounts to help establish a new and better business culture in Mauritius. So that proved to be quite successful, actually. This is where it all started. Uh, imagine the 16 partners of the new merged firm, PricewaterhouseCoopers, around this table with Robbie sitting where I am today. Mauritius had the offshore business activities that started up, but and the stock exchange was there, but we were not using international accounting standards yet. Uh, there was no Financial Reporting Act that came afterwards, uh, and the Code of Governance also came afterwards. At that time, uh, companies only reported the minimum to the Registrar of Companies, and Robert rightly thought that we had to go beyond the minimum legal requirements and uh, help investors, other stakeholders uh, recognize that there was more information coming to them and determining their investment decisions. And uh, to a large extent, the competition was successful in that. We are now a, a recognized center of uh, financial services which is known for its uh, openness and sophistication. I'm really pleased and proud to have been part of that. The financial reports are a lot better today. There is no comparison between what we, ha what we are seeing today and what existed then. Uh, we had photocopies of accounts from companies listed on the stock exchange. We still have them. Uh, but now the reports I've read this time vary between 140 and 300 pages. So there's a lot more information. Well, we are in an ever-changing world. Just as 20 years ago, we had to move forward. Today, in the digital era, the corporate reporting is constantly under review and taking new forms. There are new legal requirements from regulatory authorities. There are more requests from investors. There are more uh, requirements as to what you report on, not only financial information, but today you have to report on the social uh, action of the company and the overall uh, political, social, economic environment. You have to show how you are adapting to all of this. You have to report on risk management, which has become a crucial issue and uh, trust has become central to business success today. The problem um, is that scandals uh, in the financial world have brought um, an element of overregulation. I'm thinking about various aspects within the states where they tend to try and uh, legislate um, integrity and honesty. This is not possible. It requires integrity from management, it requires backbone from the auditors, it requires the regulators to do their job and for users um, not to believe anything that is said but to go deeper into the, uh, into the documentation. You can't be uh, happy today with just one uh, corporate report once a year uh, in a paper form. You have to constantly communicate with your staff, with your shareholders, with your stakeholders, with the authorities. So we are, we are looking at new ways of communicating and new areas of interest. So that's all uh, changing the whole way the corporate world is, is now behaving and, and reporting. The vision that we had in 1998 is still there today. It's still important and what PwC is trying to do is something I believe in. The work that the PwC teams do 
to shortlist the reports that are given to the jury is enormous. And remember, some of them go to 300 pages. I'm happy to be able to contribute to that hard work. I have worked with the new team, whether it be André when he took over when we retired, then Michael, and then Olivier. And having worked with them and having seen how they care for corporate reporting and for what they are trying to do and trying to bring integrity reporting to Mauritius, I am certain that the award, the vision we had, is in good hands. I trust PwC with always staying ahead of the crowd and always uh, meeting these new challenges. I'm very confident PwC will.